Website hosting services like GeoCities, AOL Hometown, and Zoom are no longer with us. But a lot of the websites that used to be hosted on those services, which are a huge part of our internet history, aren't completely gone by any means. The problem is finding them without having their URLs. So in this part of the Eric experiment, I'll show you a website I built to attempt to solve that problem. So let's go, let's do it. Let's just do it. A lot of our internet history is preserved by organizations like the Internet Archive and can easily be accessed from our vintage computers using services like the old net. But unless you know the URL of a website, it can be really hard to find pages that used to be hosted on services like GeoCities, AOL Hometown, Zoom, Angel Fire, and so on. That became very clear to me when I was working on my previous video as I wanted to find some old personal websites to make the 90s and early 2000s internet experience that I was showing as authentic as possible. The Internet Archive does have search functionality, but because it only focuses on the titles and URLs of the websites, it can be challenging to find sites that used to be hosted on services like GeoCities, which used URL schemas like this. Even on other hosting services, it was impossible to infer the subjects of most websites from their URL. On top of that, if you try to search for a valid but partial URL on the Internet Archive, hoping it will give you some examples of pages using that schema, the Internet Archive will show you the calendar view for that page instead. The old net does have a list of websites from services like those I mentioned earlier, which helped me a lot when I was making the previous video, and they do allow you to search in those lists. But it also has the title and URL limitation, and the index is limited to a couple thousand of websites. So I decided to do something about it because having all of that history and not being able to find it feels a bit wasteful. Enter Olda Vista, a search engine that I've been working on that allows you to search those websites by their contents as well as the page titles. For the last month or so, I have been scraping every single page of every single website that used to be hosted on those services that are still available on the Internet Archive. I'm doing that by using a Node.js spider I wrote that gets the URLs from a MySQL database table that acts as a queue requests and reads the contents from those web pages, adds them to another table that acts as a search index, and then it adds any links it found in those pages to that queue table so they're eventually processed as well. During this process, the program tries to filter out anything that doesn't belong to those hosting services and tries to find out what language those pages are in. As of the making of this video, I have scraped around 2 million pages and counting. While that was happening, and still is, I was working on the actual website, which is written in PHP. Now hold on, before you start typing that comment criticizing my technology choices, you gotta understand that this service is run and all the expenses are paid by me and myself only. PHP and MySQL hosting services are the least complex and cheapest ones to use, so they seem to like a no-brainer to me. That's why I also rebuilt the Eric Experiment website in PHP. That, and also because I could easily choose a hosting provider that had enough space for me to serve programs and drivers for download. Doing that on AWS or Azure seems like a daunting task. Could I rebuild a website in another technology and host it somewhere else in the future? Sure, but it doesn't make sense to do it right now. Anyway, as I was saying, I have been building the website for the last month or so in my free time and here's what it looks like. If you were online in the late 90s and early 2000s and you don't realize why it looks so familiar, well, it's because it's based on the Alta Vista design from circa 1999. Even the name is a little wordplay on Alta Vista. The reason for that is that I originally wanted to make working versions of old search engines like Alta Vista itself, Yahoo Search and so on. But as the scope of the project grew, I ended up deciding to make this website its own thing while maintaining the nostalgia factor. And I think the end result looks amazing. So let's go through the website itself and some of its features. On the home page, you have the search bar itself as you'd expect, but below we have the top searches column. Every time someone searches for something, I save that in a database table and count how many times that term was searched for, and then the top ones are showed in that list. Similarly, the Old Vista highlights does the same, but for clicked search results. Up here we have the what's new section that shows, well, what's new with the website. Cool Places has some of my favorite websites related to the vintage web and I'll be adding more in the future. And on the right side here, we have some space dedicated to the other services that help make Old Vista possible. The service status down here has the number of web pages we have in the index and the size of our queue at the moment. But enough of this, the main reason you'd come here is to actually search for something. To do that, you have to type your search query on the top end.
Bam! Yeah, sadly, search queries can take up to 15 seconds. The reason for that is that I use a shared hosting service with limited I.O. throughput. That, combined with a database table with around 2 million records, is not a recipe for performance. Also, as of the time of the making of this video, I'm still running the scraper on my desktop. Adding more records to the database as people search for stuff on the website doesn't help with performance at all. That should get a bit better eventually because there are a limited number of websites to be scraped. But on the other hand, the size of the database will only increase so I don't know. There might be ways to improve performance and I'll be trying to do that in the future but I only have enough time to work on all of my projects so for now that's a limitation we need to live with. But hey with a little bit of patience you can find all sorts of cool websites from the 90s and early 2000s. Like this cool SimCity website. Another option is to search on the internet archive. I added this feature because their search function can be useful for finding non-personal websites and you can't search the internet archive on vintage computers. Also searching here you can type a valid URL and it won't load their calendar view. Now keep in mind that you can also find those same search results by searching on the old net with the advantage that they filter out anything that isn't vintage. Another cool feature that was a bit of a pain in the butt to implement is the advanced search. Here you can get very specific with your search queries. We can search for pages that contain the words potato salad exactly, and also contain the words recipe and mayonnaise somewhere in the page, and also contains the words savory or crunchy, but not contain the words warm and broccoli. We can also specify that we want URLs that contain the word recipes, that we want only pages from Angel Fire, and that they are in Spanish. And last but not least, we can say that we only want pages which had their first capture between 1999 and 2004. After that, we click search and... Okay, this was a very specific search that honestly didn't even make any sense, so it returns no results. But if you play around with it, you can get very specific results. Keep in mind though that advanced searches can take even longer than normal searches depending on the complexity of the query. Other than that, you can go around and explore other pages on all the Vista like the one on why I built it. The share the love page where you can find our button and banner which you can add to your own website. The FAQ where I answered some questions that have come up and some others which I thought that could come up. And you can also help me a bit by buying me a coffee if you like the service or whatever. But that's pretty much it. There's still a lot of work to be done in terms of improving the search results quality and adding other features I want to implement. So keep an eye on the What's New section of the homepage as I'll update that as I add features to Oldavista. Regardless, the website's available right now for anyone to check out at www.oldavista.com. I hope you like it as much as I love working on it. And I hope it can help people explore the vastness of our internet history a bit more easily. Also, if you can, don't forget to donate to the Internet Archive because of the incredible work that they are doing and the fact that projects like this wouldn't be possible without them. And the old net via their Patreon as well, because we wouldn't be able to revisit this history in our vintage computers without them. But that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give it a like. And if you enjoy content around retro computing, retro gaming, vintage internet, and other random tech stuff, you should subscribe so you don't miss any future parts of the Eric experiment. It also helps the channel a lot if you do that. Thanks for watching.